Hi guys, welcome to this session on Google Sheets. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can use Google Sheets to calculate your mortgage repayments or any loan repayment. And I'm going to use two functions, as you can see on the screen there, the PMT function and the NPR function. And then I'm going to use an add-on called Goal Seek, which will um, allow you to change some of the parameters and see what the impact of the result is. So first of all, this one here. So I've got a loan amount of £100,000. Interest rate is 2%, 300 payments. The PMT function returns this figure stating that I'm going to have to pay £423.85 if that is the information that the PMT function has got, which it is. The NPR function is just this same, this here, number of payments. But now I've got the other information, but I haven't got the number of payments. So I've still got a rate of 2%. I'm paying 42385 and there's the amount. The NPR comes back and tells me there are 300 uh, payments to be made. And you can see the information is the same there. So if you start changing, once you've done this formula, and there's a formula there, and I'll go through it in a minute, I'll recreate this. So if I change that to 250, for example, this just recalculates. So if I've known I want to pay this off in 250, if I do undo, control Z. So at the moment it's two, it's four, two, three. If I do it in 250 payments, I'll have to pay 489. If I do it in 200 payments, it's 588, so it goes up obviously. So if I just undo that twice to get back to the original. Equally, if interest rates, which may well be going up, if I go 3%, that's gone up a bit. Not catastrophic, but let's go, let's go a bit mad. Let's go 10%. So now that has an impact. So if interest rates go up to 10%, you are really paying a lot of extra money there. So if I just undo that, control Z, and again, just to get back to the 2%. Same on this, whichever element you change. So if I change that to 50,000, I only need those sort of months to pay it or periods. Conversely, if I go up to 200,000, not 2 million, he didn't like that, 200,000, it comes up with 9 127 payments now let's have a go at doing this if I just copy the the labels control C copy just paste them down there so the amount of money I've got is a hundred thousand the interest rate is two percent two percent the number of payments I'm going to pay that off is 300 so now I want the PMT function to tell me how much I have to pay. I'm just going to put that to pounds. So it's equals PMT, open the brackets. Now it's asking for the rate, so I'll click on the 2%. Now that's the annual rate, so if I want this to show me a monthly payment, I need to divide that by 12. So I'll just divide that by 12. Comma, number of periods is this one, number of periods. Comma. And the actual amount is that one. These two are optional categories. You don't need them. I don't need them for this example. So I'll just click on that one. And then close the brackets, press enter, and I get the same figures I've got above. Like so. Now this one is the number of payments. So I've got some different information. Copy that. And then just click in there. Give myself the information. So the rate is 2%. The payment I'm paying at the moment is the same as that one. So it's a, I'm paying minus 423.85. And I've got a amount which is 100,000. And I'll just put that to pounds. I'll put that back to 100 actually so it's the same. And then I want the NPR function, keep giving that an extra zero, I want the NPR function to tell me how many, what the number of payments is. So equals NPER, open the bracket, and the criteria is the same. The rate, 2%, divide by 12, comma. 
now it wants the payment amount which is that figure it's got a minus because that's a payment comma and the present value what is the value of the money so far close the bracket press enter and I get that number of payments which is 300 and just over 300 so I just get rid of the decimals like so so that's how they those two functions work now even though I've just done that there is a feature which is an add-in it's it's part of Excel but it's an add-in for Google which is Goal Seek which allows you to change some of this criteria and then it will give you the impact of that now I've already showed you if you change the some of these figures it does impact it anyhow but let's have a look what Goal Seek does so Goal Seek is an add-in now I've already added it and you just have to open it but I'll just show you when you go to add-ins get add-ins that it gives you a list of all the add-ins that are available and then you can search for the one you want so I'll just search for Goal Seek there it is click on that and then there's there it is it's already installed but you you would install it if you haven't got it already if it's already installed you just go to the actual add-in down the bottom there and then open and then it will open this Goal Seek window and, and allow you to change these figures so for example if I click into this cell I want to see what the impact of these figures is going to be if well the payment figure anyhow if I change this or want this to change to 250 the actual result so before I was changing this information not the result now I'm going to change I want the result to change so I'm going to select that cell so E4 E4 to a value of 250 by changing cell let's go for this cell the amount of money so if I'm paying it off in quicker time I should end up having to pay a bit more so I'll just change that and then you click on solve and then it works it out if it can work it out sometimes it can't work it out and it's working it out now trying to work it out 250 250 it's got and it's still doing it now it's got it's come up with 48943 it's telling me that's complete don't always expect that to come up with a solution you might give it uh, a figure that it can't actually physically do and it will it will not do it but this in this case it has actually told me that if I have 250 payments on this amount of money I will have to pay that figure there 48943 so that's all I want to talk about on this little video how you can create your own little mortgage calcul calculator or loan calculator and change some of the parameters to see the impact and then just lastly there how you can use Goal Seek as an add-in to Google to to get the benefit of that so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one